Hello everyone, this is Admiral Bledovsky bringing you Atlantic Fleet, Battle of the Atlantic, continued as Britain. We are in week 3 of June 1940 and we have lost 8 squares on the tonnage war, which means we have 12 left. I mean, not, it's not brilliant, I'd rather not lose any, but nevertheless... This is our situation, and um, I need to replace, yes, I need to send the Brazen in for repairs, because Brazen suffered, well, suffered some level of damage. So that means, once again, I'm going to have to split these guys off, one each, in Scopflow and in the East Greenland Sea. Over here... I will need... to... Yeah, pick up a battleship, I think. Or actually, no, maybe not yet. But you need one now? Or should I wait until August 1940 and then get it? I don't know. I don't know. It's tricky because on the one hand I'd want to have it. But then on the other hand, you know, why would you um why would you get it now? So that it gets sunk by 1940? I mean sunk by August 1940. I think what I'm gonna do is how many ships do I have that I could potentially get? It's 27, so I've got three slots spare. Um, in Scarpa Flow, I've got two, haven't I? Two destroyers in Scarpa Flow, so these will come out and these will fill this in. And over here. I'd only need one more destroyer. Alright, alright. Yeah, that's fine. What I'll do then is I'll get myself one more destroyer here. I will go ahead and get myself an I class this time. More renown will be spent, of course. But that's, you know, that's fine. For now, at least, Renown is not a huge issue. Granted, that could change. I could be very short on Renown very quickly. But, you know, hopefully that, um, that doesn't happen ever. Right, let's send the Ilex across here. And then we'll send the Ilex down into the Azor Isles. How many torpedoes do you have? Enough. Alright. Press on. Ah, oh, we've lost a square. But we might get one back because it'll be a new month soon. Hopefully. So the Germans are almost halfway to beating us. That's not good. At this rate, we're going to lose. Because June 1940 now, well, almost July. And we need to survive until December 1941 for the Americans to enter the war. And then we're basically safe, because Germany has to sink 700,000 tons of shipping a month then. And that's just not going to happen. But for now... Well, I don't get it. It was 154,000 before, and, and it was fine, but now all of a sudden we've lost a square. Why? So what happened in that short space of time? Oh, maybe that's why. Norway. German forces successfully occupying Norway. Norwegian ports at Bergen, Trondheim, and Narvik now in use. Week 3.5 of June 1940. Yes, but Germany taking over Norway shouldn't really have any bearing on on the, um, the tonnage war in the Atlantic. Granted, it can be a bit of a morale 
depressor, but why would that affect the tonnage wall? Anyway, um, think about that later. We've got our first engagement for this video. It's in the East Greenland Sea in sunny weather in week 4 of June 1940. The destroyer Acheron seems to have intercepted at noon the submarine U-164 because we have the initiative. Is it just me or am I getting the initiative more often these days? I swear I am. I swear I'm getting the initiative more often these days. Usually it was always the Germans that had the initiative whenever it was submarine on, on, on destroyer combat. In any any quantity on any side. It was always, you know, almost as if it was a written rule pretty much. If I go flank, will I get into those torpedoes? You'll get close, but you won't actually get into them. Oh, right, that's fine. Yep, that's fine. 10 degrees, I think, this time. There we go, 4,974. Well, those torpedoes have gone, no action. Stand by the torpedo tubes. Nice and easy to start us off, it would seem, this time. Just under 4,000 yards to go. That is a good enough range for me to fire and be confident of a hit. Drop and splash. Off you go. Torpedo has been fired by U-164. Unfortunately, this will be too little too late because here comes my torpedo. There we go. U-164 has been sunk. Good. Action report. On the British side, the destroyer Acheron received no damage whatsoever. On the German side, the submarine U-164 was sunk for 1,032 tons. Nothing sunk in either category on the British side. Warship tons sunk on the German side, 1,032. Merchant ship tons sunk on the German side, 0. 1,032 were now earned. Sargus OC, week 4 of June 1940. Allied merchants attacked by warships. 73,500 tons of merchant shipping sunk. We've got a square back on the tonnage wall. We're not giving up. I swear I need to keep ships in here for an actual consistent period of time because this is... This is so annoying now. This is like the third or fourth time it's happened. Well, we know that we've got no battleships to encounter, so I'll send in the Sheffield and the Suffolk. It's probably just a destroyer, but, you know, better to be safe than sorry. Right, we've got a destroyer that's popped out here. No, we haven't. We need to put... Why is the brazen lightly damaged? I was supposed to put the brazen in for repairs. Anyway, whatever. I'll move the Ajax down here as well, just in case they decide to go up. Uh, X is over here. Go on, let's move the Vanquisher across here as well, just in case they do decide to sort of move across. Right. Nope, it's... Um, no, but we've got something else. Good thing I moved the um, Ajax out of the Erminger Sea then, because this is where our next engagement is. It's in the Erminger Sea in partially sunny weather in week 0 0.5 of July 1940. The destroyer Beagle has been intercepted. It's come under attack in the afternoon from the submarine U-127. U-127 has got the initiative on this occasion. Making full use of it by firing a salvo of four torpedoes, but not doing it very well. Because what I can do now is go flank, hard a port, 
and I've dodged all the torpedoes pretty much immediately. No air supports, of course, because we don't have any um, carriers. I always like to think there will be at least just one plane rogue somewhere, perhaps. But it never happens. It never really happens. But this isn't really an engagement where air support is absolutely critical. One destroyer on one submarine, I think, um, at this sort of distance as well, is something I can very much handle. I mean, air support would only make it easier. So. It would, it's not going to make the difference between winning and losing. So they're going to continue firing off torpedoes, but we are so far away that by the time the torpedoes even get to us, we've got plenty of time to react. Go 10 degrees to port. Good, we should be fine. Yes, we are. No action from U-127. We're a little bit too far away to um, to stand by the torpedo tubes, so I think one more turn of just this. Closing in to fire. Right now we can turn and fire. Are they going to fire a torpedo? No, they're not. Right, well, in that case, um, part of ports, stand by the torpedo tubes. Seven torpedoes available. Easily enough to deal with one submarine. Drop and splash. Off it goes. Yeah, that's that's. <laughs> I mean, you kind of have to, but it's too little, too late. It's not going to work for you at all as demonstrated moments later. Action report. On the British side, the destroyer Beagle received no damage whatsoever. On the German side, the submarine U-127 was sunk for 1,032 tons. Nothing sunk in either category on the British side. 1,032 warship tons sunk on the German side. Zero merchant ship tons sunk on the German side. 1,032 were now earned. Why can I not see the map? Are you seeing this as... or rather, are you not seeing this as well? Why can I not see the map? It... Let me restart this. Oh no, have we completely broken it? Nope, we've got it back, we've got it back, we've got it back. Danger has been avoided. Well, that's a good, good, good news for us. Brazen will be out in two turns. We've dropped below 150,000 again on the tonnage war, so that's good. Uh, 99 naval vessels sunk for Germany, so almost 100. Are you going to be the 100th? I think you are. West North Atlantic, in cloudy weather week 0 0.5 of July 1940, the destroyer Vanessa with no damage and the destroyer Vanity with medium damage, which I was supposed to send to a shipyard because it's got no torpedoes, have come under attack in the morning from the submarine U-29. U-29 has the initiative. Let me guess, the Vanity is going to be the one that's closer, in a better position to fire torpedoes, and is going to be very vulnerable because it has no torpedoes available to fire. No, that's completely wrong. The Vanessa is the one that's closer. Ah, right, I get it. So sink the Vanessa, and then the Vanity can't really do much on its own. That would have been my second guess. 
but not on this occasion. I think on this occasion we will uh, we'll, we'll come away for having dodged all the torpedoes. Right, you've got no torpedoes, so I think quite frankly what you should do is just make smoke and disengage. No point even putting you up to flank because you're already far enough away from the submarine. No action. Let's again go... I'll go harder star, but I'll increase the speed ever so slightly. Now this has cleared it. Right, I've got, can you see? This is the torpedo over here. This is the destroyer over here, the Vanessa. This has clearly cleared that. If I see an explosion now, I will not be happy. I'll be wondering why that has happened. Yeah. I had it on video, on tape, that it was clearly beyond my destroyer. Or maybe it's within a certain range, like if it's only just cleared, it'll just explode anyway. I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Um, I, or, or it's just a glitch. Or it's random. Wait, we're already close enough, aren't we? Are we? Yes. Alright, oh, well then, stand by the torpedo tubes. Drop and splash. Can we disengage? No. You need to go in for re repairs and, well, not so much repairs, but rearming. There we go. Down to U-29 sunk. Action report. On the British side, the destroyer Vanessa received no damage at all. The destroyer Vanity ends with medium damage. On the German side, the submarine U-29 was sunk for 800 tons. Nothing sunk in either category on the British side. 800 warship tons sunk on the German side. Zero merchant ship tons sunk on the German side. 800 renown earned. There it is! Finally! You're an absolute menace! You've sunk many, many, many tens of thousands of tons of my allied shipping. Sargas OC, mostly sunny weather, week 0 0.5 of July 1940, the heavy cruiser Suffolk and the light cruiser Sheffield, which has got medium damage, and a merchant ship C2 freighter, have intercepted the menace that is the destroyer Z4, which has been sinking many tens of thousands of tons of allied shipping at dawn. We have the initiative as the British on this occasion. Right. Time to sink you, send you where you belong. Flank, harder port. It's been a while since we've seen a service engagement as well, I may add. So this will be, um, well actually no, it's not been a while. Um, it just feels like it's been a while. <laughs> Um, just in case you're wondering, I do have the correct settings on this time. Although the <laughs> the settings weren't really that much off when they were incorrect anyway. It was realistically only just the um, the wind affecting the player shells that was that was the problem. Everything else was on hard difficulty, elite gunnery. Suffolk, open fire, shoot. We need to do a bigger correction on the wind next time. Sheffield, harder port. Can we bring a broadside? Not yet. 22.2 .2 is suggested. Let's have a look. Uh, I'll go all the way down here for the Sheffield, seeing as what I'm doing is using um, experience gained from uh, from the Suffolk. 
shoot. Yeah, that's pretty good, I would say. Uh, merchant ship, just go flank and harder port. Seeing as there's only one merchant, it's no need to use the move all function. Now then, Z4, who are you going for? You're going for the Sheffield, are you? With some level of success. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really going to allow you to do that, to be honest. Let's move the, um, the Suffolk along. Right, um, 25.7 was... Well, it was anywhere anywhere but the target, it would seem. Now they're saying 22.1. I'll go maybe 22.7. And I'll put the guns down here. Right. Shoot! Go on. Possible underwater damage there. Possible underwater damage. As these were high explosive shells. Right, Sheffield, you continue your turn. This time you can bring a lovely broadside in. 22.2 was where we were last time. Now they're saying 17.3. Uh, I'll, I'll go about 18. 18.3 I'll go. But when they tell you to drop it by a ridiculous amount like that, usually they tell you to drop it by too much. So if you go a little bit above what they tell you, you should see some good results. Shoot! Yeah, even 18.3 was short, so imagine what 17 would have been. 17 would have been way off. Unfortunately, we've not scored a hit yet. Or at least not a proper hit yet. And they've scored two on two separate salvos. I don't particularly like that. That's not a very good, um, not a very good uh, proportion. Zero to two. Right, uh, twenty-two seven was still a little bit long. Um, they're saying eighteen six. I'll probably go down to about. 20.7 I have to drop it a bit more I'll go 20.2 Hopefully that was a good decision to go a little bit lower Shoot! Go on! Yes! Good decision! It was a good decision to do that Good! Right, let's move the Sheffield along. Right, 18.3, they're saying was good. Was it? Not entirely. I think a little bit more on the elevation and then it'll be good. Guns go here. Shoot! I thought we'd be doing a little bit better than that, but what we've done is we've forced them to turn away. And I think that's, yeah, that's pretty much, yeah. We've not outright sunk them just yet, but what we have done is we've forced them to turn away. They've moved away slightly, so I'll increase that to probably 20.6. Shoot! Go on! Ah, yes. Good. More hits have been scored. Let's move the Sheffield along. Right, um, how was 18.6? 18.6 was good. 
might drop it just a tiny bit down to 18.4 and this time I'll correct a little bit less for the wind go about here for the correction shoot long that's what we were, long right, we should have gone down perhaps by half a degree or so they haven't moved very much though rather interesting to see right, uh, so 20.6 was over there I'll actually decrease the elevation I'll go down to 20.3 because we seem to be moving parallel to them they're not actually getting away from us as such shoot oh yes that's a pretty good salvo superstructure blown to bits I think a little bit more now from the Sheffield just to finish them off yeah 18.4 was just long so I'll go all the way down probably to 17.4 this time shoot yep there goes the Z4 you're not going to be sinking any more convoys that's for sure right so let's call that done good job crew good job very nice work action report on the British side the heavy cruiser Suffolk received no damage whatsoever the light cruiser Sheffield ends with medium damage the merchant ship C2 freighter received no damage. On the German side, the destroyer Z4 was sunk for 2,260 tons. Nothing sunk in either category on the British side. 2,260 warship tons sunk on the German side. Zero merchant ship tons sunk on the German side. 2,260 renown earned. Oh, for goodness sake. Stop breaking all the time. It's annoying when it's annoying like that. I'm gonna have to restart this game, I think. Uh, so we've taken out the. Um, wait, why can't I? I can't move these. Why not? Why can I not? Has it recognised that we sank the Z4 though? All oh, right, at least we've got that going for us. Then. I was about to say, honestly, <laughs> unacceptable. In fact, I'm going to check how long this video has been going on already. Maybe I can call it a day and restart here already. Right, I will call it a day here because we've been going for about half an hour. Uh, so I don't want any more problems. I'll restart the game. Hopefully that'll solve the issues where the map disappears before I go uh, we still have eight squares lost on the tonnage wall so we had nine but we managed to recover it back up uh, these are the stats week 0 0.5 of July 1940 naval vessel sunk for Britain 13 naval vessel sunk for Germany is over a hundred now approaching 300,000 tons Allied merchant sunk per month has dropped back below 150,000 per month, which is good to see. If we have a look at the ships lost on both sides, you can clearly see the um, German side is much longer. We've lost some ships as well, the most significant of which was the Renown. But Germany is in much worse of a position in terms of ships lost. In terms of convoys lost, they're in a better position because they've sunk 1.6 million tons and over 400 merchants. But, we're holding on for now. 
So that'll be all from our book Lerovsky for this video. If you're enjoying the series, if you enjoy the content, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye for now.